guys, welcome to Ketaholic Kits YouTube channel. It's Corinne here today and I am bringing you a 12 by 12 layout with the April kit. Um, so, jumping straight in, I used this cut file from the Silhouette store. Um, I downloaded it a few weeks ago and I've been itching to uh, cut it out and play with it. Um, it's probably one of my favourites. I'm really excited because I love cats, obviously. And I have four of them. So, um, I definitely think that I'll be using it again. Um, maybe on a canvas. Maybe even in my traveller's notebook. Um, it was definitely worth the $2 or something that I paid for it. Um, because I love it. So, I've just backed it with this... Um, mixed media paper that came in the kit um, it's really pretty um, and as you can see on screen I'm just trying to line it up because I I actually liked it when it was with that piece of paper still around it so I was trying to line it up to see whether I wanted to use that as a background or if I wanted to use something else as a background um, it made it that paper made it really easy to back the cut file because it's got so many different colors anyway um, it was you know it was a good way to do it because it's really colorful behind it and stands out from the white but um there is actually flowers and leaves in the on the inside of the cat so I could have backed it individually as as well so um, I feel like that it kind of suits that one. I didn't have to go too intricate with the um, cutting out of the other paper. So now I'm just trying to find some layers and sorry that there's a lot of background noise. There's a lot going on today when I am filming this voiceover. Well, recording this voiceover? Yeah, that's the word. I hope you can hear me over the rubbish bin man. Anyway, now I'm just finding some layers and trying to find something that will suit. Um, I like these colours. I didn't want to add too much because there was already a lot going on with the cut file. Um, and I wanted that to be, you know, front and centre, I suppose. I wanted it to really stand out. Um, so, as you can see, I will move that cat to the other side in a minute. Um, and I put it up on phone um, to make it stand off the background a bit. So I'm just being... Oh, I really shouldn't have done this. I mean, I've got plenty of paper there. I didn't really need to cut the back out from... I don't know. I guess I like that pink paper. I just don't like waste, pretty much. And what's the point of having it behind if it it's not going to be seen I might as well use it on something else if I can so anyway that's my uh, justification to myself <laughs> anyway <laughs> I know we think some funny things sorry about that car in the background too um, so I, f I fiddle for way far too long because I love this cut file so much, it I'm being really pedantic about it. I want this layout to come out perfect because, I don't know, I mean, I could just use it again and again and scrapbook this cut file as much as I wanted to. I mean, I have unlimited use of it. But I feel like um, there's not always a lot of room to store layouts like there is a limited space I can't cart around 50 albums in the future you know and um, I know it really puts a damper on my mojo actually the the whole fact that sorry about the cars it's a really busy day today I've got the windows and doors shut but you can still hear it really loudly sorry so yeah it's really putting a damper dampener on my mojo of late um, just the thought of one possibly having to throw away layouts um, 
and two, you know, running out of albums, running out of places to store albums and because I put a lot of time and effort into these um, layouts and they make me happy making them, they make me happy looking at them and I suppose, I guess I just don't want to, you know, get thrown away, at least until I'm dead and I, and I don't have to worry about it or um, think about it I suppose. But um, that's the really sucky part of this kind of hobby. So I'm trying to just focus on the actual processes, you know, the enjoyment of scrapbooking. Back to the layer, I'm just adding some string, some twine, not twine, um, thread, gold thread. Just added a couple of strands of gold thread to tie that um, tassel, paper tassel on, um, just in case you're wondering what I was doing there. Um, so yeah, sorry, I keep rambling about some things that don't really correspond too much with these this layer in particular as such. Um, so I hope that you don't mind me talking about it instead of describing what's going on the layout because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory sometimes. Um, I mean, you guys can see what's happening. Um, I can't always, I've got to be black box in there saying recording um so it covers up half the layout but I'm just adding some clear stickers now and um I think I've glued everything down I'm happy with everything spot and everything because I I didn't even stick down the cat and the photo to start with because I thought I might want to move it around a bit but I'd have now stuck everything down and everything that's going in is in its it will stay in that spot and I just build up around it. So yeah, um, I hope that it wasn't too morbid to talk about the lack of mojo. I'm really struggling with it at the moment. Um, this kit has been a little bit better, but um, I'm a bit behind in scrapbooking as well. Um, can't seem to get very excited about photos for some reason. Um, oh, I it's really hard I this is where I struggle I look at other people's layouts and I feel like the photos are staged specifically for the layouts like they go out and take photos that are you know white backgrounds or pretty backgrounds not at home where it's a bit darker or you've got a dark brown couch or um, red blankets on your dark brown couch for that matter um, I've taken a lot of photos of cats lately um, and that's where they're sleeping so that's why I'm saying that but um, even of my kids you know we don't go to the park a lot um, and I mean when it's school time we don't during the week you don't really do much you know you come home and they have a rest and do their homework and then eat and then go to bed so um you know, it, I guess I'm just not getting the photos that um, I like and and um, I like and everyone else's layouts as well. So that's another thing that's clouding my mojo. Another thing is that I haven't bought any scrapbooking supplies because I don't love, love, love anything. Um, this kit or this collection I should say I did buy um, pretty much most of it and I think five ephemera packs or something but a lot of that will just sit in my stash when I, once I've finished with this kit um, because if I would hate for me to decide down you know down the track that I want to use this stuff for a specific album like um, when I get married or something if that ever happens um, not that I'm that interested but you know that sort of stuff you know I want to have this collection because I love it so much I want to have this collection available in my stash when the right photo comes along so I have bought extras of this um, and I probably will get bored of using it by the end of this kit because I like to kill my kits so um, 
yeah, we'll see. So I haven't been buying scrap living supplies and it's been a bit of a dampener on the old mojo too. But that's all right. Um, there's always new things coming out, so I should save my money for a... Sorry about the car. Um, should save my money for a rainy day for when the scrapbooking um, collection comes out that I really love and that I have to have, and I will have it all ready to go, won't I? Um, I don't know if you can hear the birds, but we have... Um, tons of rainbow lorikeets at the moment uh, in our front yard we have four or five bottle brush trees and they are just going mad with the um the wattles and the, uh, the bottle brushes the the i don't know what you call them the florals um and, and they wake us up at like five o'clock in the morning eating and chirping and not being quiet so that's fun so back to this layout because honestly I haven't talked much about what I'm doing at all. I've just uh, waffled on about stuff. So I decided that it was really hard to name this layout. Um, mostly because I didn't know where to put the title. Um, so in the end I've called it Scrap Cat. Um, cause it was a photo of my cat Diego and he's sitting on my scrapbooking desk right in the way of where I'm trying to work, of course, like they always do. Um, but that's all right. And it was when I got my new phone, so I took it on portrait mode. So he really stood out underneath the bright lights and the background was all blurry and it, it just looked really pretty and stuff. And I thought... It was a pretty good story to document. I've always wanted a cat that likes to sit on my scrapbooking desk or at my feet or um, something. I've always wanted a scrap cat, as I call him. So um, he's a bit annoying sometimes. He likes to sit right on your stuff while you're working on it in front of you or right on top of my kit so I can't get to it. So it's not all fun and games. It's not all roses and fairy tales, but we we deal with it we live with it so I decided that I wanted a border around this and I was going to do a doodly border and I thought I just can't bring myself to draw on here in case I stuff it up so this was the option I tried it with the black paper because I thought that's a border anyway so it'll work either way hopefully so it did so I chopped it down on each side just a little bit um, didn't want too much poking out just a little bit and as you can see I gutted the inside of that paper um, so I could use stuff it for something else you know um, there's no point having two pieces of paper not only does it waste but it also makes the layouts really thick and um, you know chocks up the album so I just did some outlining of those hearts mostly because I saw Lauren do it on her latest layout and I liked it adding some Heidi shine and that will be it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy the photos. Bye.